Today I will discuss about Uber refraction calculation in contact lens. Uber refraction power can be identified in three steps. Step 1 identifying tear lens power using the formula tear lens equal to base curve of trial contact lens minus base curve of cornea. Step 2 identifying effective power of trial contact lens using the formula effective power equal to trial contact lens power plus tear lens power. Step 3 identifying uber refraction power using the formula uber refraction equal to prescription power minus effective power of trial contact lens. Before starting those steps we need to know some basics about tear lens, effective power of contact lens and uber refraction. What is tear lens? The lens made of tear is called tear lens. You might be thinking how a lens can be made of tear. Well, when a contact lens fit is not optimum, it creates a space in between the cornea and the contact lens. In that space, tear accumulate and form a tear lens. Tear lens can be of two types. Convex tear lens that is formed in steep fit and concave tear lens that is formed in flat fit. Let's know details mechanism of how steep fit forms a convex tear lens and how a flat fit forms a concave tear lens. Remember, tear lens is mostly formed in rigid lenses, not in soft lenses. Because soft lenses are flexible that takes the shape of cornea. Where rigid lens create a space in between the cornea and contact lens as they are less flexible. In stiff fit, the periphery of the contact lens is attached with the periphery of cornea and there is a gap between central anterior surface of cornea and central posterior surface of the contact lens. In this gap, tear accumulate and a lens is formed which is called tear lens. As the contact lens is attached at the periphery and create a gap at the center, it forms a convex tear lens, precisely concave convex tear lens where inner surface of the lens is concave that is corneal side and outer surface is convex that is in contact lens side. A convex tear lens will converge the rays that will decrease the power of minus trial contact lens and it will increase the power of plus trial contact lens. So in stiff fit minus power of contact lens is decreased and plus power of contact lens is increased. In flat fit, the center of the contact lens is attached with the center of the cornea and there is a gap between the peripheral anterior surface of cornea and peripheral posterior surface of contact lens. In this gap, tear accumulate and lens is formed which is called tear lens. As the lens attached at center and create a gap in the periphery, it forms a concave tear lens, precisely convex to concave tear lens where inner surface of the lens is concave that is in the corneal side and outer surface is convex that is in the contact lens side. A concave tear lens will diverse the rays that will increase the power of minus trial contact lens and it will decrease the power of plus trial contact lens. So in flat fit minus power of contact lens is increased and plus power of contact lens is decreased. Remember when a lens is not fit properly it will create a tear lens and tear lens change the effective power of the trial lens that we get in uber refraction. Now step 1 identifying tear lens power. The difference between base curve of trial lens and base curve of cornea is the tear lens power. The formula used to identify tear lens power is tear lens equal to base curve of trial lens minus base curve of cornea. Suppose corneal base curve is 44.5 diopter but the trial lens contact lens base curve is 44 diopter. As the trial contact lens base curve is flatter it will create a concave tear lens and the power of the concave tear lens will be 44 minus 44.5 or minus 0.5 diopter. Suppose corneal base curve is 44.5 diopter but the trial contact lens base curve is 45 diopter. As the trial contact lens base curve is steeper, it will create a convex tear lens and the power of the convex tear lens will be 45 diopter minus 44.5 diopter or plus 0.5 diopter. 
Step 2 Identifying Effective Power of Trial Contact Lens The summation of trial contact lens power and TR lens power is the effective power of trial contact lens. The formula used to identify effective power is effective power equal to trial contact lens power plus TR lens power. Suppose corneal base curve is 44.5 diopter and trial lens power is minus 2 diopter. But the trial contact lens base curve is 44 diopter instead of 44.5 diopter. As the trial contact lens base curve is flatter, it will create a concave TR lens and the power of the concave TR lens will be 44 minus 44.5 or minus 0.5 diopter. So the effective power will be minus 2 plus minus 0.5 or minus 2.5 diopter. So although a minus 2 diopter trial contact lens was fitted, but the effective power will be minus 2.5 diopter due to the flat fit. Now step 3 identifying uber refraction power. The difference between the prescription contact lens power and the effective power of the trial contact lens is called uber refraction power. The formula used to identify uber refraction power is uber refraction equal to prescription power minus effective power of trial contact lens. Example, a patient's spectacle refraction is minus 2.5 diopter spherical and his care reading is 44.25 diopter spherical. If a trial rigid lens of base curve 44.5 diopter and power minus 2 diopter is placed on the eye, what is the expected over refraction? Let's see step by step explanation in the next slide. Step 1 identifying tear lens power we already know that tear lens power equal to trial contact lens base curve minus corneal base curve here trial contact lens base curve is 44.5 diopter and corneal base curve is 44.25 diopter spherical so tear lens power will be plus 0.25 diopter step 2 identifying effective power of trial contact lens we already know effective power of trial contact lens equal to trial lens power plus TR lens power. Here minus 2 is trial lens power and plus 0.25 is TR lens power. So total effective power will be minus 1.75 diopter. Now the final step identifying uber refraction power. We know that uber refraction power equal to prescription power minus effective power. Here prescription power is minus 2.5 diopter and effective power is minus 1.75 diopter. So uber refraction equal to minus 2.5 minus minus 1.75 or uber refraction equal to minus 2.5 plus 1.75 or uber refraction equal to minus 0.75 diopter. Example 2. A patient's care reading is 43.5 diopter a RGP lens with a base curve of 43.5 diopter and power of minus 3 diopter is placed on the eye. If the patient's prescription power is minus 2 diopter, what over refraction would you expect with this lens in place? Step 1 Identifying TR lens power. Here, trial contact lens base curve is 43.5 diopter and corneal base curve is also 43.5 diopter. So, TR lens will be 43.5 minus 43.5 or 0 diopter. Step 2 Identifying effective power of trial contact lens. Here, trial contact lens power is minus 3 diopter and TR lens power is 0 diopter. So, effective power will be minus 3 minus 0 diopter or minus 3 diopter. Step 3 Identifying uber refraction power. Here, prescription power is minus 2 diopter and effective power is minus 3 diopter. So uber refraction will be minus 2 minus minus 3 or uber refraction equal to minus 2 plus 3 or uber refraction equal to plus 1 diopter. Remember if base curve of trial contact lens and cornea is same then no tear lens will form and the effective power of the trial contact lens will not change. So you can directly shift to step 3 to identify uber refraction power. Example 3. 
A patient's prescription power is minus 2.5 diopters per ecl and his carry ring is 44.25 diopters per ecl. If a trial rigid lens of base curve 44.5 diopter and power minus 2.5 diopter is placed on the eye, what is the expected over refraction? Step 1 Identifying the tear lens power. Here, trial contact lens base curve is 44.5 diopter and corneal base curve is 44.25 diopter. So, tear lens equal to 44.5 minus 44.25 or tear lens equal to plus 0.25 diopter. Step 2 Identifying effective power of trial contact lens. Here, the trial contact lens power is minus 2.5 diopter and tear lens power is plus 0.25 diopter. So, the effective power equal to minus 2.25 diopter. Now, step 3 Identifying uber refraction power. Here, prescription power is minus 2.5 diopter and effective power is minus 2.25 diopter. So, uber refraction equal to minus 2.5 minus minus 2.5 or uber refraction equal to minus 2.5 plus 2.25 or uber refraction equal to minus 0.25 diopter. Question for you. A patient's carry ring is 43.5 diopter. A rigid lens with a base curve of 43 diopter and power of minus 3 diopter is placed on the eye. If patient's prescription power is minus 2 diopter, what over refraction would you expect with the lens in place? A plus 1 diopter, B plus 1.5 diopter, C plus 2 diopter, D plus 2.5 diopter. Type your answer in the comment box. Subscribe Smart Optometry for more videos like this. Stay with Smart Optometry and study optometry smartly.